Hi. Now in this video, what I want to do is introduce you to the Weierstrass substitution. That is T equals tan X over 2. This half angle. And we use this substitution if you've got a trigonometric integral that is difficult to integrate. Sometimes it will make it a lot easier to work with. And this example is a good example to start with, okay? So I've called it i just so that it saves space. i is this integral of 3 all over 1 minus sine x with respect to x. So how do we use this substitution? Well, you've met this in the past in half angles, but if not, I'm just going to show you that it follows from this, that if you took tan x and used the double angle formula, tan x would be equal to two lots of tan x over 2. And this would all be divided by 1 minus tan squared of x over 2. In other words, then, substituting back for tan x upon 2 being t, this leads to 2t all divided by 1 minus t squared. And from this, if you watch the earlier tutorial, you'd know then that if we took a right angle triangle, knowing that tan of x, this angle x here, is equal to the opposite side over the adjacent side, then I can label the opposite side 2t, the adjacent side 1 minus t squared. And if you use Pythagoras' theorem for this triangle, you'd find that the hypotenuse here turns out to be 1 plus t squared. Now I'd suggest that you learn this triangle. It really is useful when it comes to working with trigonometric functions like sine x, cosine x, cot x, etc. Okay, so let's start then with this integral here. How do we use this? Well, if we just carry on down here, this is going to be equal to the integral of 3 all over, and we're just going to keep it as 1 minus sine x for the moment. You might not want to do this particular step when you're doing other examples, but we can look at dx as being the same as dx by dt, and then just introduce dt again. It's as if these dt's cancel, just leaving us with the dx, okay? Now you might not want to put this step in, as I'll show you later, but we now make the substitutions. We can see that this is equal to the integral then of 3 all over we've got 1 minus sine x. Now from the triangle sine x compares the opposite side to the hypotenuse. So we can see that in this example it's going to be 2t then all divided by 1 plus t squared. And now we need to get dx by dt. And for that, all I'm going to do is take my substitution that we've got, that is that t equals tan of x over 2, and differentiate this with respect to x. We get, therefore, dt by dx is going to be equal to and if you use the chain rule on this, the differential of tan is always sec squared of the function. So we're going to have sec squared of x over 2. And then you'd multiply it by the differential of half x, which is just going to be a half. That's the chain rule then. Fairly standard result. And we need to get this in terms of t. But we can pick up on the fact that sec squared of any angle is equal to 1 plus tan squared of that angle. So we've got 1 plus tan squared of x over 2. And if we make the substitution for tan x upon 2, I can see that this becomes 1 plus t squared times it with a half is exactly the same as 
dividing by 2. So we end up with, with 1 plus t squared all over 2. Now we need dx by dt, so it's just the reciprocal of dt by dx. That means that therefore dx by dt is going to equal 2 then all over 1 plus t squared. So substituting this in for dx by dt gives us 2 all over 1 plus t squared. And then I've got that dt there. Now some of you might be shown a slightly different way and that is dx is just made the subject from here. And if you did follow that dx would equal 2 all over 1 plus t squared and then you bring the dt up there. Okay, so if you made this substitution in place of the dx here, can you see that you're just going to replace that dx with essentially 2 all over 1 plus t squared dt, what we have here. And this is going to always be the case when you're doing integrals like this. So you might want to just remember this result and it would save a lot of time. It would save writing out all of these stages through here. Okay, so when you've got your integral then, think of your triangle, make the substitutions for any of the trigonometric functions and in place of dx just write this statement here, 2 all over 1 plus t squared dt. Or go from first principles and figure it out like that. Now it's just a question of simplifying this and if we simplify this we've got the integral then of 3 times the 2 that's going to be the 6 and then 1 plus t squared times the 1 here is just going to be 1 plus t squared and then when you do 1 plus t squared times minus 2t over 1 plus t squared the 1 plus t squared is cancelled, just leaving you with minus 2t. And that's integrated with respect to t. And if we tidy this up, we get the integral then of 6 all over t minus 1 all squared. Okay, t minus 1 all squared will expand to give me the t squared minus 2t plus that 1. OK, and that's integrated with respect to t. So this integral is fairly straightforward. Let's just border that off there. And carrying on, we've got that therefore i will be equal to, and this integral can be changed to 6 times all of t minus 1 to the power negative 2 and then we integrate with respect to t. And we should be able to see this just straight off by inspection. This comes from differentiating negative 6 times all of t minus 1 to the power negative 1. And don't forget that constant of integration plus c. So if we write this out again, what we've got is minus all of 6 over t minus 1 plus that constant there c. Now you could leave it like this and substitute back the t being tan x upon 2 but I don't like this negative here so what I'm going to do is just simplify this further. This is the same as 6 then over 1 minus t plus that constant and now I'm going to make that substitution and we end up with 6 then all over 1 minus the tan of x over 2 plus that constant. So using the Weierstrass substitution t equals tan of x over 2 has made this integral a lot easier to do. So that's the first video in this series. In another video I'll show you how we can do a harder one where partial fractions are involved. So thanks for watching and I hope that's been of some use to you.